Greetings to you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Truth, best love, equals life. Today, I'm going to do a video on how remnant meet each other alone at the cross. It means every one of us scattered. There's 144,000 scattered in peel. And if you don't feel like you're all alone in the world, if you don't feel like you're the last real Christian, which is not true, but if you don't feel like that, you didn't get it yet, or you're not a remnant. It's that bad, and it's hard to believe every day. Um, you could be Siamese twins, you could be identical twins. It's an individual experience. I'm about a mile from the high school I went to, they come out and they're just blasting Hell's Bells, Enter Sandman, Bad Company. It's just one satanic thing after the other. And as a rock musician, you're just like, hey, these are great songs. Man, the, the older I get and the more you see, the more just absolutely demonic it is. And the lunatic fringe politically are those who are not on the pitcher's mound with me, America. And this is how, they, I mean, they value me the way they value Jesus, which is fine. I mean, we get our heavenly reward, none of which we deserve compared to Jesus. We earn our reward compared to others, not compared to Jesus. Okay, so... So what happens is the other day someone had asked me about going to a, you know, a, a Bible study, not even going to a physical church, which is all wicked, and it just creeped me out so much I can't even tell you. Now I have the seal of God, and I told him that. He didn't blink. He didn't say, "Okay, that's clearly a fraud," because it either is or it's not. Someone told me they had the seal of God. I would invest. I'd be like, "What? What?" Because I know it's either true or not true. Didn't even blink. But they want me to go to Bible study. I'm telling you, even going to Bible studies is wrong. For, forsake not the assembly. The assembly is in the wilderness. It doesn't have to be a physical wilderness. It's here. There will be time for meeting other people. But the remnant have to be scattered and peeled to be brought back. And our flesh is going to compromise everybody. Mine as well. I mean... Even with the seal of God, you know, it's the same flesh. Now I want to play back in black. You know, I mean, it's... Yeah. By the way, ACDC is Antichrist. DC 43 is 25, the sign of the devil, the second and fifth finger, plus 18 bloodline of Cain. It's alphanumeric, ACDC. 13 bloodlines, Antichrist, DC. 43 is... 18 plus 25. Bloodline of Cain plus 25 sign of the devil. The second and fifth finger are exposed when making sign of the devil. This is the world. It won't always be like this. I'm telling you, even going to Bible studies is not going to get it done. Because they don't have the seal of God. Does that mean they can, you know, not tell you anything? No. But there are levels of this Christian walk. And it always comes down to truth. And it always comes down to, this does not feel good. And this feels like, it must feel like, Bad, it must be lonely. It's all lonely. When you see Jesus, it's like the driest, emptiest wilderness ever. Where's everybody else, Jesus? Well, you're supposed to be everybody else. But there's no hive here. This doesn't feel good. This is how it is. It's like that show Naked and Afraid where you're alone. I said, you're alone. Why? Because this is the nature of being broken down and being isolated and exposed on an individual cross. And it's, it's heartbreaking. It is. It's heartbreaking to be alone with the truth. The truth doesn't stand alone. The truth stands. Nothing else exists. So the truth is not defined as some lunar or loser, lo lo loser or loner because it's not with a big group of lies. The lies don't exist. They're lies. There is only truth. The people who are new to being a Christian... What they want is they want the group. They want the K-Love, which is all crap, by the way. You can tell them I said that. K-Love, you're pure rapture cult, antichrist, Talmudia, satanic. Go ahead and hate me. I don't care. You don't know Jesus. You never did. I hope you do. But the feel-gooders. Joy, Lord, is my strength. Yeah, I'm not going to argue with you. The chipper and up and friendly, and, and, and it, it, it's a spiritual masturbatory, that's the only way I can describe it, Candida Albican's kind of birthday cake. 
Remember, the cakes and candles are wicked. That's Ishtar. That's Ashtar. That's candida albicans. It's a feel-gooder. Does God want you gloom and gloomy all the time? No. But he wants you sober, rationally, okay? Spiritually, when I say pseudoscience, that's the intuition. It's not false knowledge. Pseudoscience is the intuition of the spiritual bride of Christ for her husband. That would be my musical identity. I was looking at something the other day and they just kept mocking it, just hammering it, pseudoscience, 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 pseudoscience. You can feel the spirit of Antichrist already prepping people to hate me. That's okay. But I mean, it's there. And it's just incredible to watch it. But the sunlight of SON is peeking through. Things will change. It's a trail of tears. There's no way around this, folks. Most of the people with good energy have never even been close to being crucified. I knew a guy I went to college with. You know, he's the head of the FCA. He was an Olympian. Just looked straight off the Wheaties box. Good stock. I'm not going to mention his name because it doesn't matter. I hope he gets in the kingdom of heaven. He would look 100 trillion percent like exactly the person that you think Jesus would want. They don't know Jesus if you're an Olympian. The gods of Olympus. Anybody who is really a patriot would be called a traitor, okay? They don't know Jesus. I hope they do. Everything that we want in what looks good, feels good, tastes good, smells good, touches good. Hi, how you doing? Praise the Lord. Oh, it's so nice I'm here to be there. Holy, holy, God of money. Run for your lives, for that churchy, soft, and feeling. Again, this has nothing to do necessarily with anyone's sexuality. It's a spirit. It feels like a soft, hi, how you doing? Oh, night, Jesus loves me, joy, Lord, is my strength. Ah, it's not real. It's leavened, it's compromised, and it's scary because of how seductive it is. I mean, I don't want to be around like negative and gloom and Owes me. No, that's not what I'm talking about. It's, you've got to have the truth first. And it's truth plus love equals life. It's not love first, because love doesn't exist without the truth. Nobody wants to see fellowship with other believers more than me. Period. One more person can ruin everything. The assembly has to be first in our hearts and our minds for the allegiance of God. And it's very rare. I'm talking to people at the end of the line of their truth-seeking experience. And of course, it's a whole new forever where we'll keep learning. Okay, This is perceived as arrogance. It's not. There were things that I was told, you know, revelations that 20 years ago people haven't had yet. Now, does that mean I'm all done? No. I certainly could be, whatever, nicer, more Christ-like, more love your enemies. Okay, I mean, I've gotten almost nothing for an entire lifetime of work. I'm not here to complain. I'm here to tell you that anybody who really loves Jesus is usually going to look like he did when they beat the snot out of him. You want to run away from him just so you can get away from the bad vibes. No, that's the Christ figure. You're supposed to love him so that he has great vibes. <laughs> okay? This is very difficult even for me because what I want to do is meet the remnant and party down under Jesus and celebrate forever. That day is coming. What God's telling me is that day's not coming until all of them are completely isolated. And you know what? That means marriages. That means brothers and sisters. I mean, if you really love Jesus, you've already seen it. If you're remnant, they hate you. Or... They're just annoyed with you. Have you noticed that? It's like you're this pesky... <laughs> Stop. We're embarrassed. There's people here. They might see you out here in the woods. It is stunning. And I want to document just this specific emotion because I know that others are going through it. And your flesh says, this can't possibly be the truth. I'm supposed to go to the happy friendly land. You want the Disney World of the... Oh, and we know Disney's evil. We just want the Disney World of the... No. The kingdom of heaven is beyond anything but in terms of goodness, fun, creativity, 
way more psychedelic, you know, kaleidoscopically, multidimensionally, super fun and games than we can ever imagine. We're not there yet. Okay? And most of them, some of them are not going to get there. This is how it is. And I'm doing this video for me as much as anybody else. It's an individual cross, even among remnant. Even if you know someone's remnant. He's got to hammer every one of us to that cross. If you notice those crosses, they were not connected. They weren't all linked together. We have to die to be a collective echo of Jesus. The devil has the candida albicans that sticks together. This nasty rust, rust fungus I told you came out of the, it's the hive mind and there is a consciousness to it. And in many ways, that is Lucifer's blood because it's the hive mind. The other day, someone was telling me that they can test blood where they have this beamer machine that like scatters blood so that it like creates more blood flow. If they put it in a jar, it will change. If it's in the person, meaning if it's under microscope, it will change quantum physics with this in the person. Because in that sense, it's a non-local phenomenon. Well, the candida albicans is like that as well. It's the strong man. And it says... Yeah. Isn't this nice and up and friendly? I'll pray for you, brother. Run for your lives. I know that's difficult. If you're a baby Christian, you're like, well, I want to go have fellowship, and this feels good, and they pray for me. Okay? It's almost guaranteed deception. I'm telling you, if you have any respect for my authority, don't even go to a Bible study. Get it here. Take it to the Lord. Study yourself. Hide yourself from the indignation. Hide yourself from the wrath of the Lamb till the indignation be overpassed. It's time to be sober. I've got to reset my heart too. I've got stuff to work on. I can't wait to meet you when it's time. Until then, this is our fellowship. And I love you. I really do. We can't be on guard enough. For me as well. It's only Jesus and it's just that late in the game, and it's about to get really good and really ugly for a lot of most people. Forgive me, Jesus. My everything's wrong. I said, my everything's wrong. Your everything's perfect. And I do pray for those people. Because they have an incredibly difficult journey ahead of them. And I thank Jesus for his grace that gets us all to the end. I really do. Thanks.